What's up, Buzzing Crew? The idle specification for the 9904V6 is in between 700 to 730 RPMs at operating temperature. Idle speed is controlled by the PCM. We cannot adjust it. What we can do is help the PCM receive accurate information. You can clean the mass airflow sensor to ensure the grams per second reading is correct. There is no grams per second specification given. If you need to replace the mass airflow sensor, Ford recommends that you replace the sensor along with the housing because the sensor is calibrated to its particular housing. Easy, right? And this video will just focus on the easier stuff to do. We're not going to clean valves. We're not going to clean injectors on car. Just easy stuff you can do. Next, you can clean the throttle body so the PCM doesn't have to compensate for the carbon buildup on the throttle plate and throttle bore. It's real easy to remove, just two bolts, two nuts. This casket is dusted, crusty. So once we clean it, we put in a new gasket. Now some of these Ford throttle bodies you can't clean and you'll know that because some of them have a black and white warning label on them. This one doesn't have it, so we're gonna clean it. Behind the throttle body is the air control valve. The idle air control valve for this vehicle cannot be cleaned or adjusted. Yup, Ford service information states that you cannot clean it or adjust it. What I am gonna do is replace this gasket. I know it's functioning properly because its scan tool PID shows it opening at around 52% at idle. This reading is extremely helpful in diagnosing a vacuum leak, say the RPMs were above specification. Take a look at this reading and if the valve is closed under 20%, that means the PCM is compensating for unmetered air. Simple, right? If it's open at a very high percentage, then your air filter or PCV valve could be restricted. Like I said, this idle air control valve is functioning properly. No need to replace it. No need to spend unnecessary money. It's functioning just right. The throttle body has been cleaned. And the items are ready to be installed with new gaskets. When you put the throttle body back, the fasteners are torqued to 80 inch pounds. And the idle air control valve two bolts are torqued down to 89 inch pounds. Let's move on to the PCV valve. It's a calculated air leak and we're going to test its functionality. To test the PCV valve, you can shake it. If it rattles, it should be good. A better test is on an idling engine. Remove the PCV valve from the grommet and feel for vacuum on the bottom of it. Last up is EGR. An EGR valve that is stuck open can affect idle speed. This vehicle uses a delta pressure feedback EGR. The important thing to know is that it is a vacuum actuated valve. Here's a vacuum connection coming from the EVR solenoid. The valve begins to open at around 1.6 inches of mercury and is fully open at around 4.5 inches of mercury. With a vacuum pump, supply vacuum to the valve at idle, the engine should stumble, and vacuum should hold. If you need to replace the EGR, just remove two bolts, they're also 10 millimeter, and use a big 1 and 1 16th wrench to remove that flare nut. Here we can see that the EGR passage to the intake manifold is not restricted. If it was restricted, the engine could run harder than normal. And this EGR is fine. I'm only going to replace this gasket. And this gasket was in decent condition. The two bolts are torqued down to 89 inch pounds. And the flare nut is torqued down to 26 foot pounds. 
I left it on there snug. Well, there you go. The PCM is receiving accurate information and if anything goes wrong, the LBD2 monitors will let me know. I'll end the video with the Mustang deal of the day. 2003 Ford Mustang V6 convertible. 150,000 miles with expired tags and the sensor needs to be replaced. That's all they put. For a thousand, this was a steal for whomever bought it. Most likely the issue was something minor that seemed complicated. Maybe the math was dirty. Whatever it was, it was a very good deal. And if they would have watched this video, maybe, maybe they would have figured it out. So subscribe for more Mustang content. Have a good day.